Hello, all you glorious people of the world. Chelsea Chi here, back with Paper Mario, the Redux, Redo version. In the last one, we beat up uh, King Goomba. We're almost to Toad Town. We just have a little bit more to do out here, which is like getting this chest. There is the hammer throw badge. Hits one enemy with the hammer no matter where the enemy is. So with this badge, I'm able to use the hammer in order to hit flying enemies. Not that I would ever want to do that, but you have the option. Mario! I'm so glad you're okay! The town is in an uproar! The princess kidnapped! The very castle uprooted! It's bedlam! I really don't know what we could do about all this! Please, Mario! Save her highness! Mario had to cough. And so that's why it took Mario a bit longer to talk. Alright, so, um, this episode is probably gonna be kind of drab and droll, cause we're gonna talk to everybody. Starting with this toad right here. Oh no! Doom! Danger! Princess Peach's castle has flowed away! Up into the sky! No castle! Horrors! Only a hole remains! Our beloved castle! Where is it? Spread the word! Outrage! I was making sure there weren't any other toads moving about. Let's talk to this, this couple. We're just gonna interrupt their conversation that they're having. The castle was taken away, and Princess Peach was kidnapped. These are dark days. Everyone in town is suffering, and yet... My heart cares for nothing but you, my sweet. Does that make me wicked? My heart is the same, my love. It cares for you, none other. We are both wicked toads. I wonder if I talk to her if it says anything different. Nope, it says the same thing. Alright, so they're bad toads because even though... The princess has been kidnapped. If they have their love for each other, they can stand the test of time. I've always kind of wanted to go up this. There's no way to, though. Alright, uh, what's your name? Um, goodness, I can't remember. But we saw you in the castle. No, oh, it'll come to me. You're probably gonna say your name. Oh, salutations! You are Mario, are you not? Of course I know who you are. I'm the wise toad, Rusty. Pleasure meeting you. Oh, I guess we didn't meet him in the castle. Can I have my controller not be tangled up? Give me a hot second. As you can probably tell, I love books and read all the time. Because I'm so well read, I know all sorts of interesting facts. Whenever you visit with me, I'll be happy to share all of my knowledge with you. So, Rusty is kind of the place you go if you're stuck. Like, if you're not sure what you need to do next in the game. A star piece! <laughs> Jump, Mario! Jump over the ledge! You can do it! Just kind of parkour it! Uh, well, we can't get that star piece right now. So we're gonna invade this toad family's house instead. The earthquake when the castle flew away was terrifying. Everything was shaking. The ground, the houses, I fell right over. It was so horrifying that I just like to forget it ever happened. What about your wife? Oh, busy, busy. The room doesn't get tidied up when my darling's at home. You're not even, so he's worried about the castle. You're worried about the house being clean. My dad works at the castle, so he's not at home usually. But now the castle's gone, so he's at home. When I said I'm glad because dad's at home, I got scolded. 
What's up with that? I gotta agree, what is up with that? Like, it's kind of like a blessing that your father is here and not trapped in the floating castle with Bowser. So yes, you should be glad he's home. Princess Peach was kidnapped, so I'm going to save her. But mom told me I had to be a good boy and stay home. How come? Well, you know, that would be kind of cool to have a toad as a partner for Mario. I would be okay with a toad joining me on my adventures. Uh, we're gonna go in the item house. Can we go here? In the item shop? Am I gonna buy any items? No, but I will talk to the item man. Welcome to Shroom Grocery. How can I help you today? I'm not going to do any of these things. I just wanted to talk to you. So, I always like the fact that when you go up to it, that's when you see the prices. And it goes through it. It's so neat. Okay. Uh, we're going to go in the pipe that's got... I always talk about this a lot. Like, I have a lot of favorite music in Paper Mario. The partner theme song is one of them. When we get to Shooting Star Summit, that's another of my favorites. But this music has to be probably my absolute favorite. And it's our house music. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Probably trapped in that castle. <laughs> Whoa! Mario! It's you! Good to see you. And you're alright! After all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. And we're gonna look off in the di- oh. I thought we were looking off in the distance, but instead we're looking at our partner. Oh? And who are you? I'm Goombario. Nice to meet you. I see. Great. Just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh well, take care of Mario, okay? Just <laughs> Luigi's passive aggressiveness where he's like, great, just great. You know, I wanted to go on this adventure, but no, no, grab a Goomba, why don't you? So we will come back and visit Mario quite frequently. Mario, we're gonna come back and visit Luigi quite frequently. Because uh, Luigi's position changes often. Like, this time he was just kind of sitting on the steps, but he'll be doing different things. You want to know what I noticed? That the house is two different colors. Like, it's red for Mario, and then green for Luigi. That's crazy. Alright, so if we go to this board, this is like our... Uh overarching board like it talks about the coins we've earned throughout our playthrough badges star pieces number of battles first strikes and then enemies first strikes and then there's three things that we haven't gotten to yet so there's 80 badges 160 star pieces we're gonna try and get all of them or we're not going to try we are going to get all of them whether i have to go through a million walkthroughs in order to find the correct ones. So I could go to sleep if I wanted. But here is the box where letters addressed to Mario go. It is empty right now. We can't do anything with that. So we can come back not only to talk to Luigi, but also to read letters that Mario collects. Alright Luigi, got anything else to say before I leave? Good luck, Mario. You just have to save that princess. Well, it is my job. Come on, you Mario. All right, let's... Can I read this sign? Goomba Village, Peach's Castle. All right, let's continue on. Let's talk to this toad. Hey, 
Mario. Did you know you can carry up to 10 items? When you can't carry any more items, it's a good idea to go to the, a shop like this and ask them to hold items for you. You can even claim the items at any other shop. Pretty convenient, huh? Which I do not do. I don't think I've ever held any items before in any of the times I've played Paper Mario. Oh, <laughs> you don't have it? The degree, Mario. The degree shows how strong you are. <laughs> I have it. I fought at the dojo over there and got it from the master. I am one bad toad. You know what? I'm gonna get that degree and I'm gonna just show you how much more of a boss, how much more of a bad Mario I am than you. <laughs> Mario, have you gone back to your house yet? Luigi was wondering how you were doing. And you know, if you were trapped with the princess or something. You can go home through that pipe in front of the main gate over there. You can enter the pipe by standing on the edge and pushing down on the controller stick. Say, why don't you give me a tour of your house someday? Well, you should have came with me while I went in it. Now, these ladies are special. Um, because they typically show up in the other areas you go to. Not in all the areas, but in a majority of them. Peach's castle flew away! How could such a thing happen? What, what'll become of Princess Peach and the others who were in the castle? I'm scared, I'm scared. I, Felicia T, am so scared. Well, we know one of your names. What about- So here's the dojo. Can I go? Doge? Above us, on the top floor, there is a dojo. We are here, always, training at the dojo. Unless our master isn't here. In which case, the dojo's closed. A letter just arrived, saying the master will return soon. We will train again soon. What about you? Our master is wandering the world to purify his mind and train his body. Our master was a strong man. He is going to come back a very, very strong man. We will wait here, right here, until our master returns. Wait is part of our training. Could the master, wouldn't the master be okay with you guys waiting inside? Isn't it kind of cruel of him to have you guys waiting outside? I think so. Hey Mario, where it is you're needed on Shooting Star Summit. You never been? Just go through that blue gate right there and bear right at Peach's Castle. Oops, I forgot. Peach's Castle is gone. What about you, dude? The theft of our castle caused great destruction here. The worst of it happened in the center of town. It seemed to rain wood. As a result, we can't get to the southern part of town. The train station, the port, many important things lie south. Not being able to get there is just a great inconvenience to me and to everyone. Only to me. I like reading these boards, um, the Toe Town Newsflash, because they do change um, with each chapter. Toe Town Newsflash. Princess Peach kidnapped. Castle uprooted. A few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She was inside and is presumed kidnapped. The whereabouts of the princess are unknown, and where the castle once stood, there is now a gaping hole in the ground. According to witnesses, the castle rose into the sky. As soon as we get new information, we'll post follow-up reports on this board. But the neat thing about this board is that there's a back to it that has different things on the Toad Town Underground News. I'm scribbling on the back of the notice board. How naughty. I heard Mario was defeated by Bowser. How ominous. A gossip loving toad. Alright, um. Let's go inside the spinning top house. 
Merlon is out! Well, I guess Merlon is out. I said, Merlon is out, so he must be out! I'm telling you, Merlon is out! Out! So I think we can't do anything yet. Just yet with Merlon. He's out right now. The building with the spinning roof is Merlon's house. He's weird. He also happens to be stubborn as a mule. He rarely comes out. As weird as he is, though, his talent is no joke. He can read the stars. He even predicted that you'd come back safe and sound. So... I don't think I was wrong about Rusty, but Merlon is the one for sure that you go to predictions if you're stuck. But I'm sure Rusty gives you information as well. Let's talk to this toad. Do you see that blue pole in front of the post office? That's a road sign. You can find out what's where in Toad Town by checking out the signs. What am I telling you this for? I'm sure you know it's smart to read all the signs you see. Now, I will be honest, I don't typically read the pole signs. <laughs> North is Peach's Castle, west is the main gate, east is Pleasant Path, south is the port and station. Uh, come here, Toad. I want to talk to you. Up on Shooting Star Summit, there are these two siblings named Merlovely and Merlo. Merlovely tells fortunes. She's really good at finding badges or star pieces. So this is how you typically would find your badges and star pieces, would be talking to Merlovely. Um... Unless you find them out in the wild. Uh, since we have our walkthrough, we're not going to really use Merlovely. When you take star pieces to Merlo, he'll trade them for badges. These two could help you, no? You ought to go meet them. Merlo is who we will go to. Is that the toad that I already talked to? Yes. You are the wandering toad. Uh, let's go to the post office. Greetings. The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. That's all where he's gonna say. What about this old, uh, Paracoopa? Yes, hello. This is the post office. You can read any letters that arrive for you or for your other party members. Please drop by now and then to check and see if you've received any mail. Well... Oh, you seem to have some mail. Really? I was not expecting to have mail already. Which one would you like to read? So, the post office is where mail for our partners will come. So apparently we already have some for Gubario from the red and blue Goombas. There you go. Gumbario. You were a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us, and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong. So, when you come back, do you think maybe we could be friends? Please say yes. We'll be waiting, red and blue Goomba bros. We'll keep the letters for you. Come on by anytime you want to read some letters. So that is pretty nice. We have a toad house that we're not going to talk with right now. We have some really creepy looking toads. It's dangerous out there. I wouldn't go. Yeah, you shouldn't go. Nope, no go. Sorry. But no. So, we can't really go this way. That's blocking our path. I know we've already kind of reached our uh, usual time, but we're going to finish talking to everybody that we can in Toad Town, and then we will call the video a close. So, I'm sorry if this one was kind of boring. Look at Minty. 
Always with the flowers. She's as pretty as a rose. Just watching her from a distance makes me happy. Oh, the cute little crush you have. Here we go. Minty. Water and dirt. Sunshine power. Beautiful blooms. Beautiful flowers. Hello. My name is Minty. Please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. I've heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly, bulb bulbs have the only known seeds. This is what a bulb bulb looks like. It's got a flower on its head and a big ol' nose. Got it. If you find a bulb bulb, could you get seeds for me? I'll plant them in this flower garden and raise them lovingly. I would hope so, considering we only have two flowers in our garden right now. We've got something happening. Hey, mister. You're a customer, aren't you? Dad's preparing to open the shop soon, so I guess you gotta wait a little while. Can I talk to Dad? Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Ralph's the name. I'm starting me up a little business in Toad Town. I'm still setting up, though. I want to see you back in here when we open, alright? So, Rolf will end up selling badges. I'm not sure if there are badges you could only get through Rolf, or if you could... I know there's some that you could find out in the wild, but I'm not, I'm not sure if he sells specific ones that you can only get there from time to time. These building materials used to be stacked by the road, but they all came down when that earthquake hit. Unfortunately, it's impossible to go to the south side of town with all this scattered wood. Don't worry, we're restacking it as quickly as possible. I know it's inconvenient, but please bear with us while we get everything in order. So, we can't really go any farther south. They really limit our options so that way we have to go to Shooting Star Summit and we will do that in the next video and hopefully get some more plot forward stuff happening. As always though, be sure to like, comment, share, and even subscribe if you have not already done so. And I'll see you guys in the next video.